Hey everyone, I'm TJB Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're doing a quick video on the color computer, the Coco. Specifically on the Coco STC, of which I actually have two. I've got this one here for my Coco 1 and 2 in this nice shell here with the engraved Coco STC and the opening so you can select the ROM image. Pretty cool. And we're just going to set that like that. And then my other Coco STC, which I've actually transplanted from its original case into a more tandy looking case that I found on Thingiverse. And this is because I got myself a 3D printer and thought, I should play with this. And I actually need to print a label for this, but this has a nice cutout on the back you can probably see here, if I don't get too close with it, for the LED and the SD card, and a label if I choose to print one. And I even decided to get all fancy pants, and I printed an additional one where I shortened this, uh, modified the design just a little bit, shortened it for the Ian Maverick the right stuff reproduction of the Deluxe RS-232 pack to match the Tandy uh, st controller style, except I just, you know, first time here, cut out the back and made it so the entire port was there instead of um, kind of narrowing it down to just the size of the connector itself. I also did have to widen, the RS-232 card is actually a little wider than the STC, so I had to widen out the channels there. It's not perfect, but it does in fact work. So tonight what we're going to do I'm going to talk a little bit about the Coco STC, and this is mainly for the non-Coco folks that watch my channel. Uh, you get to see all these other great machines here that we'll just pan by lovingly. And there's, but wait, there's more. Hey, look, there's my tripod, 2500SX25, and the VIS, which we also need to feature soon. Anyway, back to this. So I figured I would just feature this, and that's mainly because I have to update it. I need to do a firmware update. So let's get this thing together, and I'll do a little discussion about what the STC is, why it is friggin' awesome, and then we'll do a quick update. Let's go. Here we are with the Coco all powered up, and as you can see, I apologize for the scan line going up. This is as good as I could get it. Hopefully I got the, the screen zoomed right so you don't get too much of a pattern from the shadow mask. But anyway, um, as you can see, the copyright looks pretty much the same, except you've got this little additional banner for STC DOS, which is one of the ROM images. And this is essentially HDB DOS from old, um, extended for the Coco STC. And one of the Coco STC's great things is it lets me just take a bunch of disk images and store them on the SD card, which I can load them with my PC. And you can see right here, we've done just that. So I can go around, browse. This is the STC Explorer, which you can put on there as a disk image. And correctly named, you can type EXP to make it run. And you can see my OS 9 cassette project, my OS 9 ROM projects, the STC Explorer disk. Uh, setup, actually, that's for the last time I did a firmware upgrade, which we're going to do tonight, so I have to download the new one. And here I can show you, uh, let's just boot one of these disks, shall we? What's my SDC directory? Gunstar. Let's run that. And now you see I've chosen the disk, now I can choose the directory in the file here. I'm going to choose Gunstar base, and Gunstar will load. And of course, Gunstar requires a 6309 in your Coco 3, and 512K of RAM. A really cool game if you haven't played it. The SDC really is the killer device for the Coco. You get the benefits of floppy emulation, all of the easy accessibility of loading files onto your machine with a modern PC, and it's really reliable. But you also get one other benefit. There's a uh, Gunstar. We'll just hit reset. And one of the benefits of the Coco SDC is on Nitrous 9 you can actually have what's equivalent of virtual hard disk images, which are oversized floppy images, roughly, that can act as a big hard drive. So here I'm going to boot Nitrous 9, an older version, for the 6309. And this is actually quite an old version, but I have it on here, and this is the version that has my Easy Gen installation and a bunch of other things. But let's hit Enter for the date. But this actually gives you a really cool large hard disk area to install lots of programs and use OS 9 as you would have were you, you know, rolling in it enough in the 80s to be able to afford a hard disk, except this is a much bigger hard disk. I was not one of those people. But either way, this is a very cool tool, very cool toy, and it does a great job. So what are we going to do with this today? Well, actually, I need to upgrade the firmware. Let's get this thing powered off. We'll get the card out, and we'll get it into the PC. So now that we're all off, Let's remove this from here. I'm going to eject. By the way, the, although SD cards are technically hot swappable, they're not in the SDC. The instructions recommend against it. Let's take this over to the PC and get the new disk images on it so we can come back over to the Coco and do some updating. All right, so 
what do we do with this? Well, I have the manual up here. We're just going to take the card and insert it in here. Hopefully that's in frame. My Windows machine is going to complain about file system on this thing, and it's just going to have to suck it. But we do want this up. Okay, the files we are interested in here are the setup disk, which I'm just going to copy the file over, so I'm going to delete that. And then STCX is the original file name. I'm pretty sure we have to call it STCEXP, but let's take a quick look at the notepad instructions and see what they say. So this is what's in it. This is what we do. Multi-disk, da, da Configuration, auto exec. Yep, STCEXP is the name that it has to be. So we're going to delete that file too. And we're going to delete that one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go over to our other folder. See, now this is great because you go into this thinking, wow, this is going to be great, all technical stuff. You're just going to watch me copy some files because, quite frankly, that's how easy it is. Okay, and I'm going to call this EXP. Okay. And now we're going to go back here and we're going to go to the setup disk to Coco. They have this for the Dragon, by the way, if you have a Dragon 32 or 64. And we're just going to copy pasta this right over here. Oops, I just copied that and I didn't want to because I can't hit keys apparently. And let's do the safe eject thing. And the next step here is we're going to mount the setup disk with the Explorer and we're going to run the setup base program. I think it's setup base. Yes, it must be because it's run setup. Let's go. Coming back to the Coco, we're just going to put this card in. Make sure my Bright Protect switch isn't moved here because that happens. Give it a nice little push into its slot there. You got to be gentle putting it into the slot. And now we're going to do some updating. Okay, we're back. First, let's see if I got the Explorer right. Hey, look at that. Okay, ooh, look at this. Great. When you run it the first time, you get the feels like the first time, feels like the very first don't want a copyright strike. We has restore last session, composite video. I don't want that. Disable splash screen. Ah, I like the splash screen. Background color, I can change it. I kind of like it as it is. Let's just save that. Here's that beautiful logo. And there we are, it's the same Explorer version 1.35. So, no changes there, but hey, this way we know we're current. Okay, next up, badoop to the bottom. Set up, and I'm going to run setup base. And you can see there's the STC ROM, there's the flasher, firmware. Okay, first off, STC DOS is actually 1.75. Oh, 1.75 is newer, all right. And the firmware version we'll be installing is 1.27. So let's take a look at our versions. And we're at 121. I said 1.27. I'm at 127. We're at 121 and 1.6. So we've got some updating to do. So let's do the firmware first. Again, I apologize for the scan line here. And I hope I got the zoom right. Um, if not, I'll apologize in advance. Did the best I could with manual mode. Okay, installation require the Coco to reboot. Press Y to proceed with the installation. Any other key to cancel? I would like to Y, please. Do not interrupt the operation. We even get a nice little progress bar. And I can see the light blinky blinking. And normally when I reboot the Coco, I also reboot the multi-pack interface as well. Okay, did restart it. So let's go back to the SDC Explorer. And we'll go to Setup. And now I want to install STC DOS 1.75. Okay, STC DOS is currently running from Bank Zero. In which bank do you wish to install STC DOS 1.75? I would like to go back to Bank Zero, please. This will require the Coco to reboot. Re dash boot. Go. And there we are. And it actually did say it. So let's just do this. Let's do a full, do the full smash. Sorry for my arm there. Multi-pack on, Coco on. STC DOS 1.75 CC3. Okay. All right, ease of use 61. Let's just try. Ease of use, we'll just do 68 one. 
I just want to make sure it starts. And it does. Look at that. And it is 2023, five, what is today? Today is the fourth, and it is 1946, according to the Chronomatic 260, right to the left of the color computer. And this will load and do its thing, and it's working. And actually, once it does, I'll just run the free command so you can get an idea here of how big the image is. The nice thing about uh, Nitrous 9 ease of use in the SDC is they've made it so you can have a data image, um, basically mount a second disk and use that as your data disk in drive one, and it can be a hard drive sized image. So you can move into that, and then when the version of Nitrous 9 changes, you don't have to go moving all your stuff out and back in. So that's pretty neat. I've been making heavy use of that. And we'll just start the G shell. And I even have the mouse in the right port. Look at this. And you can see this one is Ease of use includes a whole ton of software and great things. So in G-Shell, I can just pick any one of any number of applications, programs, games that are on here. Let's just do level two. And what do we have here? Uh, let's do strat strategery. Because us Americans love our strategery with our American presidents and stuff. I haven't run bomb away. What is this? Blow up your opponent by firing at the right angle and velocity, velocity, I can read, while compensating for wind and terrain. Each gunner must enter the angle and the velocity. Cue to quit. Cool. All right, so rather than watch me play, this is pretty much updating the Coco SDC. You can see how easy it is. You can see how flexible this thing is. It really does make life very easy. That doesn't mean I don't necessarily like to use real floppy disks or something. And like I said, I do have a Super IDE that I still have a disk image on the card for, and that supported virtual floppies and a hard disk image in the more traditional sense, but this is definitely a really cool way to go. And the great thing about the SDC is the SDC DOS also includes drive wire support, as does Nitrous 9, as you can see. So you can combine the two, and you can also use commands to basically turn your drives on and off. And actually, let's do that. You can tell it, I'll just type the drive command here, so you can see 3 and 4 here, DW. If I say drive one off, that will flip drive one over to my FD502 here. I can say drive zero off and do the same thing. So I can configure the four drives any way I like. It's really flexible, and it does a lot of cool stuff. So this is just kind of a high level. The, the whole point of this video was to update the thing. I'm not really here to do the full dog and pony. There's plenty of people who can do it better than me. All right, so that's my quick video on updating the Coco SDC. And for my non-color computer viewers or my viewers who might not be as familiar with it, I figured just a little, what is it, let's watch it work, would be in order so you could see what the hell it was I was updating. All right, so that'll do it. I'm TJB Chris. Thanks for watching, and join me next time.